this. So today I'm going to be talking about City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is book number one of the Mortal Instruments series. There's six in total, I believe. Eh. Uh, I think there's six. I want to say there's six. I gave this book four and five stars overall. I couldn't give, bring myself to give it five and five stars, even though I really enjoyed it. It's just one of those. There's a couple of things in there I was like, eh. This book follows Chloe, who she's living in New York, and one day, well, one night even, she goes to this nightclub with her friend, and she sees these three people kill one person. But it turns out that that person that these three people killed was a demon, and these people are shadow hunters. And then it turns out Chloe is one herself, and shit happens. Basically, shit happens. <laughs> The events that follow her mum goes missing, her evil dad starts making an appearance and it's like oh my god her evil dad. There's vampires, there's werewolves, there's a lot of evil things and I just really enjoyed this book. Shadow hunters are people that kill demons and yeah basically. <laughs> As a warning there might be spoilers, I can't promise that I'm going to keep it to a minimum. But there's probably going to be some spoilers, so you've been warned if you continue watching, so yes. Our main protagonist, Chloe, she did annoy me at times, like, just sometimes it was like, just listen to these people, Chloe, like seriously, just listen, listen. But it so is understandable why she is all frustrated and annoyed, annoying, whatever the word is, and ugh. because, let's be honest, if my mum disappeared, and turned out my dad was some evil lord thing and I got told I had like angelic powers. I'd be a bit, what's going on? What? Ow. Ow, I just hit my elbow. Ah. So yeah, she is kind of annoying, but it's all understandable, so yes. One of my favourite characters is Simon. Simon is a human, he isn't a shadow hunter or anything and he's brought into this world because he's just in love with Clary. His love for Clary is just like, oh, what's the one that love me like that? Oh, Simon, you're so cute and nerdy and oh. I love how he flirts with Isabel, like, hey Isabel, you know, this nerdy thing and Clary's just like, what the hell? And then Simon goes, I love you Clary and it's just like, oh, yeah. Why are you turning into a mouse? That was funny. I did fear for his life, but you know, I just love him. <laughs> also, we have Jace, who is the hot character in this, and I'm not gonna lie, I do fancy him. I fancy Jace. He's attractive. He is just, mm. and the way he he's all badass and his sarcastic tones and, oh, I love Jace. He he's fun. I'd have him saving my life for any day of the week. He could happily do that. Another character that I really, really did like, and I thought it does actually bring something to the story, is Alec. The reason why I like Alec is he's gay. It's not really the reason why I like him, but he is the gay character in this series, and I like how he's represented in this book. Alec isn't stereotypically like, I like all the glitter, I like all the glamour. I have all this going on type gay stereotypes. Unlike Magnus Bane, he has all the gay stereotypes, but Magnus is just a cool sassy character anyway, so yeah. But I think I like being gay does actually bring something to it because when I first read this two years ago, I didn't think he was gay, like reading it and then Kyle went to Isabel, is that like gay? I was like, oh, he is. Oh. It hits you that oh, shit, he is. And it's just. I really hope Alex's storyline gets better. We do explore his little world of being a gay shadow hunter because it, it's not frowned upon in this world, but it is a bit like. No. Just a quick mention of some of my favourite parts in this book. One of my favourite parts was Magnus Bane's party. I thought it was like some sort of little funny current relief type thing, light hearted and it brought something nice to this dark scary world. It's like, oh, 
I love to be Magnus, and let's be honest, I loved him when I read it in Phil and I was like, I like you. And now he's still the same, I'm like, I still like you. <laughs> I don't know. It's hot and I'm delirious, leave me alone. The hotel scene, Hotel Dumont, is it? I don't know. But that hotel scene, it does sort of like give us an introduction of how Sancho Claire is going to write action scenes. As most action scenes, it's just like, stab. Next chapter, oh, everybody's dead. But it's like, you want to see it. And in this you do, you do get to see the action. And I think it's quite written well. Obviously, it's from Chloe's point of view, so she isn't really ready for it. She's just going to stand there and watch Jace. So it is from her eyes. And, oh, it's written really well. And, yes, I liked it. I liked the action and the fighting and stuff. So, yeah. If you haven't read City of Bones and I've already spoiled you enough, you should stop watching here or just skip ahead until I've stopped talking about this bit. So I don't want you to be spoiled but I have to talk about it. The plot twist. Jace and Clary are related. They are both Valentine's kids and I'm just like, what? When I first read this, I was like, but, but, that does not make sense. I don't understand. Why? What, what's going on? And I think it's because I read somewhere a spoiler about his actual heritage. And I was like, that does not work. How is he a Morganstein? How? How? You two made out very sexually earlier on in the book. What? I was in a state of shock and I was just like, what is going on? What? What? And my questions are still not answered. I've read two of Ashes and they're still not answered, so I'm still like, mm. But that twist is what makes this book feel good because now it's like, but they, they love each other in a non brother sister way. What's going to happen with that? It's a big game of thrones here. Yeah. I think Cassandra Clare may have read Game of Thrones before writing this. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. I've heard people not really enjoying this book. I don't know why they didn't, but I really did. I thought it was a good book. And I can't wait to read the rest of the series. I'm just, ugh. I'm excited. I'm excited. So yeah, four or five stars. What more can go wrong? I need to stop throwing those books. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a little like, a little thumbs up, that'd be nice. And if you do like what you see, there's a subscribe button somewhere down there, I don't know. I also have a review on my blog as well, so I'll also leave that link below. And that's about it for today. I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye guys! I'm gonna re open my window because I think the thunder's stopped. Hope it has. Really? Oh, that was cute. She was actually has some sort of heart. And then she's there like fighting things like, yeah, yeah! I don't know what that was.